Hi everyone, I'm Kristen Matet. And I'm Hannah Jamison. Welcome to our next episode of Math on the Move. We're here today in downtown London at Track Unit. So we're here with Martin from Track Unit. And Martin, can you tell us a little bit more about what Track Unit is? Yeah, sure. Track Unit, um, in the background here, the number one thing we do is connect construction. Construction is uh, one of the number one industries in the world. Everything around us is built by people and machinery. So as part of that, we're connecting construction equipment, people and processes um, that tie into the construction industry. To go one layer deeper, every machine basically without uh, electronics on it doesn't have a voice, it doesn't have a way to communicate. So we actually connect those machines to the internet and essentially our customers are kind of like using the apps on your smartphone where they you know, use that data to get efficiencies out of their business, uh, spot trouble before it happens and things like that. Okay, yeah. so when you said customers, yeah. uh, you made us really curious about how many customers you have worldwide and right. how many employees are involved in Track Unit. Cool. So about 17,000 customers. customers. Um, uh, we have different kinds of customers. The people who build the equipment, the people who rent equipment so that, that ends up on all the job sites that you see, and then also the people, the contractors that are actually out there doing the work. Um, we've got about 400 employees um, that are spread out around the globe. Around the globe? Yeah. Okay. So where is your head office located then? Uh, our head office is actually in Denmark. We're a, a Danish company and the company kind of came together two years ago with a London company called ZTR that had been around for over 30 years. We were both competing in the space. So we kind of have a, a London, uh, Ontario kind of hub or head office and then our actual head office is in Denmark. Okay, so yeah. London, Ontario and Denmark, are yeah. there any other locations we're tracking? There is, we have 12 locations around the globe. We're actually in uh, sort of the Asia Pacific region and in Japan, I think Singapore, uh, Australia, New Zealand, um, Poland, we have people working in an uh, in engineering capacity. So we have people really diverse and of course the US. So all over the place. Wow. Yeah. You get around the world. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Cool. And so our goal in Thames Valley yeah. is to highlight the mathematics in the real world, yeah. uh, which obviously you have a lot of. A little, uh, yeah. Would you be able to share some of that with us? Yeah, I, and when we started doing this video, I realized just how much math actually gets used. So we're, you know, behind all this, we're sort of in science and technology. So every department in the organization, there's probably 10 of them, uses math in a, in a different way. And because of that, we're actually going to unpack that a little bit for you and show you different parts of, of Track Unit today. I'm in the marketing team, but we're going to talk about um, the product side and sort of the engineering side, the physical world, uh, you know, that relates more to the machinery and how we connect it. So, Wonderful. We're yeah. really looking forward to seeing all the math. So our first stop is here with Alan and Kyle. Um, hi, welcome. Could both of you please explain a little bit about what it is that you do, how you work together, and your position here at Track Unit? Yes, I can start. Um, my name is Alan, and I'm part of the hardware engineering team. So what we do is uh, design hardware like this, the telematics device that's a key component to, to our business. And uh, I work closely with different functional groups, uh, including Kyle, uh, in the deployment team and he's in charge with uh, making sure that we install these devices properly. And I'm Kyle Levine, I work for the deployment team and we work on different machines to uh, prototype different installs and define how the device should be installed on different equipment. Great, could you give us a little tour of, and tell us a little bit about what this is and how you use it and how you use math daily with it? Definitely. So here we have a 4555 scissor lift, electric scissor lift. So with those numbers, those model numbers, 45 actually stands for the maximum platform height of this machine, which is very beneficial when using a scissor lift so you know the max platform height that you can work at. 55 denotes the inches of the wheelbase or the width of the machine. And this is very important because that will let you know the clearance of uh, doorways and different uh, bays.
As we were talking about designing the hardware itself, we take into consideration the, the weight, the dimensions itself, the length and the, the width, and also temperature rating, uh, electrical ratings, and uh, we get input from uh, customers. We work with our customers and OEMs, and also uh, work closely again with uh, experts like the deployment team in figuring out where the best place to install these uh, devices. So we want to make sure that there's enough uh, space for the device and uh, proper installation uh, is adhered to. Uh, proper uh, ventilation needs to be um, considered. So what other uh, considerations do we have uh, during installation, Kyle? So some other considerations we have for installation of the device are we want to make sure the device does not um, undergo any mechanical damage. So that means swinging doors or any moving parts it needs to stay away from. And any excess heat, as you mentioned, there should be adequate ventilation. And of course, the um, clearance for the device, it needs to have enough space to sit. Track Unit is a global company, so we deal with um, global customers. So we have to be uh, cognizant of the fact that uh, some people use, some customers use uh, metric, some customers use Imperial. So in this particular instance here, 4555, this is shipped globally, so within our customer base, they need to, to make sure that they, they uh, do conversions from metric to Imperial and Imperial to, to, to metric. Uh, at the same time, uh, as, we were, as we are talking about this, this uh, equipment, one of the things that hardware engineering uh, works with deployment as well is uh, uh, the installation of a custom harness. As you guys can see, uh, this one here is 55 inches and the batteries on the other side of the equipment. So we want to make sure that if we're um, designing a custom harness for it to be able to install properly to the battery, we, we then design a harness that's 55 inches at least. So then uh, as uh, Kyle was uh, talking about, so when the door swings, uh, it's not going to be too, too tight. There's enough uh, clearance there. So again, uh, we take that uh, length into consideration as well. So for this machine, we have a 500 pound weight capacity with a max personnel of two people. So that means each person can weigh up to 250 pounds on this machine. All right, so Kyle and Alan, thank you so much for showing us how you use mathematics here at Track Unit. Our final question for you today is thinking back to mathematics in school. And what would you tell the students of the Thames Valley District School Board about learning mathematics in school and then using mathematics beyond school? So for me, working at Track Unit and working in this industry, the one thing that is very clear is that math is the universal language. You know, working with different countries sometimes, there's a bit of a language barrier. But math, there are some conversions that need to take place, but we all speak the same language with math. That's a very good point, Kyle. Yeah, so I think that's, that's one of the great points about uh, math. Uh, you can apply it to everyday life as well. Uh, whether it's finances or just like what Chef Matt uh, ta talked about uh, with, with cooking, definitely uh, you can apply it to, to everyday life. I love how you said it's the universal language. It's amazing. And thanks so much for referring back to Chef Matt from Grown Chefs too. So again, thank you so much for having us here today. We love exploring the mathematics of Track Unit with you. Learning all about what you do here was a great opportunity for us. We really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, and hopefully you guys got a different angle on uh, where math is applied as well. <laughs>